Hey, bye bye. Wow, you look good. Nice hospital gown. I like what you've done with your hair, too. Kidding. I can't see you. <laughs> or hear you, so you can stop talking to the screen. This is a video, it's not Zoom. So stop talking, you're disturbing the other patients. Ma, can you explain it to him? Thanks. Anyway. Uh, I wish, wish I could see you, though. Wish I were there. But I don't know if you've heard, but there's this pandemic. People are getting the COVID. So it's probably better this way. Uh, it's probably what you'd prefer anyway, right? Because it's cheaper. I didn't waste money to come visit you only for you to get better and the next time i'd visit you'd feel guilty for not dying when i spent all this money <laughs> to visit you in the hospital so it's 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 definitely better this way you're probably surrounded by people dying from covid uh, sorry tact still learning hey i wanted to tell you something baba uh when Mama told me what happened to you, I was, as you can imagine, I was very upset. Um, I, I got so angry, like a lot of people did. I didn't know how to contain my rage. Not only because a white man pushed you down a flight of stairs, because I knew you'd forgive him. I, 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 I knew you wouldn't call the cops. I knew you'd turn the other cheek and give him the benefit of the doubt. That's why I was initially so happy when it made the news to raise awareness and mobilize our community. And then I got so angry when you forgave him on air. You just let him go, made it okay. I couldn't sleep. I, I, I was filled with this intense fury I wanted to kill him. I did. If I could, I would have. And then I wanted to, you know, an eye for an eye. Some random white guy messed you up over there. I was going to mess up some random white guy in my city. And then my anger turned to you. Why couldn't you be Bruce Lee or Ip Man in that moment? Teaching that guy a lesson, you know? Which then brought back a whole flood of memories of you not fighting back, of you not being strong, of you not raising your voice to white people who took advantage of us all the time in your restaurant, in our neighborhood, camping, traveling. You just took it. You smiled, put your head down, and you'd submit as they treat us less than human. Uh, like, like this is their world and we are a plague. Then you talk about Jesus and Martin Luther King Jr. And I, I'd forgotten this, but on one occasion, I told you, you were weak. You remember that? I said you were a weak, small, cowardly yellow man. Baba. And you, you, you didn't hit me. You took that too. And when I heard how the man who pushed you, when he heard you had for forgave him came looking for you to apologize I finally got it because I saw the whole world saw another another way possible another way forward a way to, to heal I'm so proud of you for setting that example of what it means to be strong, Baba. 
Okay. Uh, that's it. I gotta go check on the boy. I love you. Whether we have been here for generations or have just arrived as a new American, Asian Americans are integral to the fabric of America. Our mission is to advance the civil and human rights of Asian Americans and to promote a fair and equitable society for all. Asian Americans Advancing Justice, AJC, is deeply committed to our communities, and we will continue to advocate for all our voices to be heard.